Hey guys, today we're going to be reading an awesome book called Clothing of the World. And what makes this book really cool is that there is no illustrator because there's no drawn pictures in here. These are actually called photographs. So we're going to get to see real pictures of clothing from different parts of the world. So if you see, this is our Earth right here. We've talked about it before. We're actually going to be talking about Earth a lot more in our next study. Um, but we live in a country called the United States. So within the United States, people wear clothing that's pretty similar. So if you look behind me, I'm sitting in front of my closet. So I'll, these might look like a lot of the clothes you guys have. I have sweaters, I have t-shirts down here. I have jeans and sweatpants. Up top, I have some sweatshirts. I have bathing suits over there. Um, so I bet if you guys looked in your closet, you have a lot of similar clothing, but people in other parts of the world wear clothing that's actually quite different from ours. So this book is going to showcase some of those different pieces of clothing that they wear. So Clothing of the World by Nancy Lowen and Paula Skelly. Hats, coats, pants, and skirts. Shoes, shorts shawls and skirts. Here you can see this is Peru, Cuba, Pakistan, South Africa, and Indonesia. From the tops of our heads to the tips of our toes, we all wear clothes. So this is Russia, Poland, and India. Hats for work, hats for play, hats for celebrations. So this is from the United States where we live, Scotland, Benin, and Mongolia. Hats for warmth, hats for shade, hats for special occasions. Here we have Ukraine, Vietnam, Norway, India, and Colombia. Now let's see what's on our feet protecting us from cold and heat. These very colorful beautiful shoes are from India. Here's the United States and Tanzania. Slide them on, tie the laces. Ready shoes? Let's go places. We have Ethiopia, the United States, and New Zealand. So look, this is a different country, but in our country we also have rain boots that look like that. So sometimes not all the clothing is totally different. Off to school, what will you wear? A shirt with a collar or a dress with flair. Here we have Mexico, Germany, India, and China. So those are all kids getting ready to go to school. Will you put on a sweater? How about a tie? Whatever you wear, wear school clothes with pride. So this boy and girl are from Ireland, Vietnam, and the United States where we live. Time to play. Let's have some fun. In the rain or in the sun. Here we have Ethiopia, China, Ukraine, and Canada. Play in water, play in snow. This is England. We have beaches that look just like that. Australia and Bulgaria. We didn't get a lot of snow this year, but sometimes we do. Run so fast, go, go, go. These kids are from Burundi. Some clothes have a special mission. 
to honor the past and show tradition. Tanzania, Argentina, Czech Republic, and Russia. Beads and feathers, silks and bows. Oh, this is someone from the United States, Japan, and China. Clothes here and now from long ago. So these beautiful colors, that's from Spain. This is China. And I think that is the end. Yep, the end. All right, guys, so as you can see, some of the clothing in this story looked exactly the same to what we wear, and some of it looked quite a bit different. Um, so along with this video, I'm also going to post a YouTube link that has a video that we did not make, but it has a bunch of different pictures of clothing from around the world. I'm also going to post a PowerPoint, also not made by us, but that has different pictures of different pieces of clothing and this one's actually cool because it gives you the names of some of the different types of clothing so what I want you to do with that is either watch the video or pause this video or look at the PowerPoint and pick an article of clothing that you think is really cool so I know in our story there were a lot of colorful outfits that I thought were really cool um, so maybe I would go back and pick one of those or what I'm gonna do because this one looks pretty simple is I'm gonna try drawing the Scottish kilt and sparon. So we're gonna do some observational drawing. Like I said, this is the one that I'm choosing, but you guys can choose whatever you want. Um, so for this, I see that the colors in it are blue and white and silver and black. So I pulled out some of those. Um, so then I'm just gonna look at this picture and draw what I see. All right, so that's the start of mine. You guys will have to see what the finished product looks like. I'll post it above and I'm sure Miss Cronin will do one as well. Um, one final thing, we also are going to put the link on for these really cool multicultural dolls. So you actually just cut them out and then you can, I just taped them and they're in nice little cones. So these are different people wearing different style clothes from around the world. So those might be fun to play with if you have a printer to be able to print them. If not, you can use construction paper and try to draw your own and wrap it up and tape it. Um, so let us see what you guys do. We can't wait to see what clothing from around the world that you guys find really interesting. Can't wait to see. Bye guys.